Picked up in race number two. Across the top, oh, big moment here for Brock Feeney. He's got into the wall hard. I think he did it on his own. It looked like it. Now we need to just wait a minute. Hopefully everybody's going to clear through this chicane. I can see the yellow flags waving on the right hand of the shot there before we zoomed in. This is always a bit of a tense period when a car is parked directly across the road like that. Looked like everybody had cleared Brock. Safety car boards and flags are now showing. It was a big accident, big contact. He's going to right now, so it did look like he did that all on his own. Backs up your point yesterday. If you get it wrong at the start, it just gets worse and worse and worse. It just compounds. If you're in the wrong spot when you arrive at that right-hand curb, if you're just a little bit too far to the left, it tightens everything up. And the way that beach chicane is designed, there is no area where you can recover from it. It just really hurts. And I said this to Barry uh, Rogers after James Golding's incident. Small errors here have huge consequences compared to a lot of other circuits that we go to. There are no runoffs, and Brock Feeney's just tasted that today. There's some more replays happening down at the bottom. It's like Troy Dantas going through the shot. It is in car number two. We saw him go down the escape road at turn number 11 yesterday. Puts him down to 25th position. But the Vodafone safety car has been called for this incident. Watch the cash roll 93. From that shot, it looks like it was on his own. It's still a lot of water in those tyre barriers. And thankfully, he has made contact with the tyre barriers and didn't end up in the concrete. So here it is here. It's on that third curve. which just spat the rear of the car around. He hasn't been able to gather it. And from that point, it didn't even look like Brock Feeney made that curve that we just saw Cressida and Co. make their way through. The car 